learn about Google Earth. So I want you to find the Google Earth symbol, the app on your iPad. It kind of looks like a circle with waves on it and underneath it should say Google Earth. When I press on Google Earth, it's going to load. Now this is something that you can actually do. I'm just gonna get out of here just a little bit. This is something that you actually can do on a computer as well. There is a link on my website for that. The link on my website will not work on an iPad. For an iPad, you need to make sure that you have the app. So I just got it out. I zoomed out a little bit so that you can see North America. Now over on the right side, you might notice there's a compass. It's right below the person. So when the red is pointing up, that means that the world is right, that north is up and white is south. If I take my fingers, two fingers together and twist it, you can see that the compass is moving. See that? Now I don't wanna tap, I just wanna take two fingers and twist it. To make the world go back around the right direction, I just tap on that compass and it swings me back around. Now, before we get into our actual lesson, I'm gonna just take my finger on this globe and I'm gonna tap on the screen two times, like right on top of the land. And as I do that, you will see it'll zoom in. Now, as I zoom in, you can start to see like a solid white line. You also can see a dashed line. The dashed line is the separation of our states. And in Canada, you can see the separation of their provinces. And the white line is the international border. So I'm just gonna double tap again and now you can see that we have all sorts of names and those are the states that are within the United States. The blue area here is our lakes and you can see there's a lake up there's Hudson Bay. And as I move around like this, now if I move too fast, the world's gonna spin faster and to stop it, I just tap. So I can move it back and it doesn't really matter in your, if you're in North America or if you're someplace else, it doesn't really matter. Now I'm gonna take my two fingers and kind of like, you know how we zoom out, how we spread our fingers on the screen? Now I'm gonna pinch my fingers together. That's gonna make the world smaller. But as I zoom in, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see how this works. You're gonna to start to see yellow lines. That's our interstate system. So in mine, you can see already here Sioux Falls. Now, Mrs. Zup does Google Earth all the time with every grade level, so she doesn't have any problem finding Pipestone from the world. So you can see here's Pipestone. Just zooming in. And if I keep, oh, I didn't want that, so I'm gonna hit that little X. If I keep zooming in, here's our golf course. You can see our swimming pool. And right here is your school. So as Mrs. Zup is recording this video, she is sitting in the school. And kind of about where she's sitting, you see this little air conditioner that's a square? This is the gym, the bigger square that has the shadow is the gym. I'm probably right on set, right on the other side of that air, condi air conditioner in the building. I'm gonna zoom back out. So I'm all the way out. And you can see the world coming back. Now this will not work unless you have a strong internet connection. Now we're gonna move ahead and do the part of the lesson that I want you to try. So as I'm doing the video, you make sure you're watching so you see this and then you could always come back and replay. In the corner, kind of under my time, you'll notice three lines, which I'm gonna press. And underneath all of this, you can see a picture of mountains, kind of similar to what we have in Write Reader. Make sure that that's open. If it's open, you'll be able to see pictures. So as I'm zooming in and I wait a little bit, pictures will show up. And if I press on this picture of the falls, oops, I didn't hit the right thing, just a second. Hit that little X, I want the, just the falls. I wonder if I can get just the falls. No, nope, it's not gonna let me. Okay, so I will press a different picture. I'll press this picture. Now I can actually see a picture. And at the top, under the time, it'll say like one of 21. That means there's 21 pictures. So if I take my finger and swipe from right to left, this is by Mankato, Minnesota. Oh, you can see they had some flooding here on this picture because you can see the bridge is out. There's a church. Now to get out of this, oh, that's beautiful. It looks like a church of some sort. To get out of this, I'm gonna go ahead and press the arrow at the top and it takes me back out, okay? So I do want you to see the photos and kind of navigate this a little bit. Now, underneath the three lines that we pressed, we're gonna press on the magnifying glass, it's a search box, 
and I want you to type in Pipestone. Now had we had technology in our room, this is what we would have done. We just would have probably added a little more time to it. So I'm gonna type in Pipestone MN, and you can kind of see that it's showing up and there's a little um, bubble there for a place. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on that. It's gonna bring me to Pipestone. And once it's up, I can press this little X where it shows our falls. Now to zoom in, remember I double tap. Now as I zoom in, you might notice pictures are showing up. And that looks like the pool. So I'm gonna press on the pool picture. There's three pictures here, so we know this isn't going on now, but it's really neat that people can turn in pictures for us that we can view. Looks like it was kind of an overcast day that day. Okay, now the last thing I wanna show you, I'm just gonna zoom in just a little bit, is the street view. Now we're only gonna have one class of Google Earth. This go around, if we are back at school, then we will do more. We will do more in first grade for sure. So I'm gonna press above my compass, you see it says 3D and then there's a person. I'm gonna press on my person and you can see there's blue lines. If I press on a blue line, I'm gonna put it right in front of the tennis courts. So I'm not touching anything. It'll take me inside. That car cannot see you. Notice there's arrows. But here's McDonald's. So this picture, I don't know when it was taken. Google Earth used to have it set up that we could tell when it was taken, um, but it doesn't have that. So it looks like I'm on the road. It must be during the summer because I'm not seeing a lot of activity at the school. But if I press on these arrows, I can actually turn. Now that shadow that you're seeing is the camera that recorded the video. So there's somebody, maybe you'll recognize somebody you know. And some of these cars are not always in the same picture either. Like that white car is still there. And no, they are not driving on the wrong side of the road. It's just how it was recorded. I wanted to get in front of our school. Okay, let's see if I can turn this around. Must have been a summer day. I don't see a lot of activity going on here. So you can spend a little time in Google Earth, but then I want you to go do something else.